we do, open up the right hand wing, all right, we then remove this cover, lifts off side like that, okay, on the bottom here is two bolts down below, so we have to start with those two bolts. So pull the foam out first, then grab our tool, and undo the bolts on the inside. Now, for the purpose of the video, I've already pre-cracked all these bolts. All right, so that's now undone. Now, as you can see, this cannot come out just yet. We have to undo some more bolts. So, the first one is this one here. Nice and easy to see. Again, pre-crack. I did cheat that way. Bolt out. Get the little retainer out too. Okay. We have to also get the one inside the cup holder here. Now, the other one is down by the neck of the ski, so down there. Best to undo both those nuts, and then there's two more under this panel. This panel has tree clips on here, so you do need a tool. Okay, so that's one. Then we go. Two, three, and four. Okay, this part now lifts off. Also held in by two clips in here. All right, then we have the bolts down here as well. And again, pretty cracked, ready to come in. Now I do both sides of the front panel here, so I can pivot it up easier, and then do the two inside the steering column. Hard to get to and the last one in here. Alright. That's done. Alright, so this is where we'd normally stop our USB video. Okay, we've done the USB side of things. So from here, we have to still do the same side. I'm going to pull off the seal. Okay, we're then going to grab the front of the hook. Yeah, lift it up high enough so you can get this out. front of the ski and we'll start undoing the rest of the bolt. So one, two, three, we're on this side, four, five, six, come into here, undo these ones, so 
fell off. Okay, that one there, this one here, that one should have already been taken out as well. Again, these are all pre-crack nuts. Not that one. Top of the cup holder. Back around to the front of the ski. It's best to take these out because as you lift it up, all these are going to fall out. If they go underneath it, you have trouble finding them. And the only thing left to do is to undo these ones on the side. Now both those ones are actually longer. So if you go through all your bolts later on, and you go, hang on, I've got two big ones. This is where the big ones go. Okay, and if you can compare them, you will see they're actually longer. Okay, longer because you have to go through more plastic to get to them. So you do both sides. Now that will allow the top console to lift all the way up, okay, which is where we get down to below. Now this piece of foam lives under here, I've already taken it out, so take that one out, and underneath here is two more nuts, so we undo those nuts your extension. These ones aren't pre-cracked. Put the extension on. side Thank you. 
All right. So with that done, there's still these two bolts floating around in there. Mm -hmm. So as you can see in here, there's now no more nuts holding down the bottom. There is however two nuts up here on each side. They can stay in place. If you want to loosen them, you're welcome to do so. From here, you grab your tool and you lift it up. back over through the bolts okay so there's two ones under here you've undone these two inside the USB holder this side of the ski and again you've got that nut under there you've got this one under here you've got the piece of foam which we pulled out again it just kind of sits in that area there you've got the two nuts with bolts either side of here two bolts that go in there the two bolts inside the steering cups one each side Two bolts okay, here and over here, same side. In front of the ski, the two long bolts either side and the two short bolts here and here. Once all those bolts are undone, the center console pivots upwards. Okay, so this piece lifts off, this bottom piece comes up as well, enough for you to get under here and pull this off. Now, as you can see from the video, we've already done it and I will insert the footage from that job yesterday afternoon. At this point onwards, I'll reassemble the ski. So the first thing we have to do is lift this up. Okay, we're gonna put our nut back on side this thread. Now bear in mind, you are gonna cut yourself on this job. Reassembly, nut number one. Okay, foam piece. Lift this up. Okay. Inserts like so. What that does is it stops anything here falling through behind it. The other side, put the other nut on underneath the center console because if you start doing it up now, you won't be able to lift this to get this one back on. So this one goes down here like so.
drop that back on. Now, before you do up any other bolts, put the USB holder insert back into the ski. USB is not there. Okay, you can obviously put the USB in, which you can see on one of our other videos. Yeah, so kind of put it in place. Put the console up. Slide it forward. And make sure those bolts go through, one and two. Okay, you'll then do up the bolts inside of there at the last. We'll go back around and put the rest of the console back together. So, insert. Cup holders are a bit trickier. I recommend to put the slip down first. Okay, so we're going to put that insert over it. So it's now the right way up, ready to go. Grab our bolt, some needle nose pliers. And uh, if you've got small hands, you might be right, but for me, with these big hands, it makes it hard. Okay, so now it's sitting there, we'll grab our socket and send it home. Do the same this side first. So again we grab the insert face down. It's easier if you close these. So insert inserts in there. Green grab our bolt, then those pliers. Located inside the hole. Just let it sit there and you can grab with the socket. It's going to change. Alright, that one's tight. In the front of the ski, one, two, and the ones on the side there. So I put the wings back up. First one, drop the insert, small bolt. That one doesn't feel like it's actually going in. And looking at it, it's just sitting slightly ajar. big bolt which goes into the side one here yeah, it's a bit of a tough angle to get to I find it's easier to go from this way okay, 
finger tight. Grab our next long bolt. Open the wing up. Uh, there's coming down, so we squeeze this back together. There's behind here on the clip. And push the bolt back through. Yeah, it's grabbing. Make it finger tight. Right. Then we have one, two, three to go. Okay, insert, 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 first bolt. Second bolt. Third bolt. Okay. This side we have the washer and nut which goes into here. Put under there, bolt into this one, put a one down here, so there we go, drop that in place. last which is the one in the steering column on this side so put the insert in grab the bolts
Last two up. Right, a bit fiddly to get your hands down there, but you'll get them on there. You get your washers. Slide your washers over first. So now they're ready to start them. Get our tools. It's going to work better. Just start them by hand. Don't use our ratchet. Secure Put the plate back on. Closed. Check our bolts. Now to put our seal back on. Seals back on before you close the wing. You gotta put your cover back on the console, which is this one here. So, just get it over, and then up in the back, clip it in place We're using our tree clips. Okay, push your tree clips back in. There's four of them. Close your wing, one side done, oh, did miss one thing, put your foam piece back in, close the wing, go around the other side, oh, that can now be shut as well, oh, come around to this side, okay, check all your bolts are done, put your seal back on. Hard to video this angle here.
the seals back on, close your wing mirror, job done. This is back on as well now. Put your seats back on. That's it. Case bit tank battle. Um, has taken approximately 40 minutes to do that job. It, um, there's no quick way to do it. It's, uh, it's going to sound good though. I'll get a video on the weekend of it, uh, how it sounds.